A grim fairy tale. The schools that you would build. Once there was a lady named Eva. Eva was on a mission to start some schools. But first, she needed space. So she started moving into local public schools. Well, the space is crammed because all of the rooms were actually, most of the classrooms were actually taken from us and given to HSA. Taken from the public schools and giving it to charter. And then we didn't mind sharing space, but we didn't want them to take over all the space that they did. Yeah, it, was like, it was like a takeover. When they came in, they said one thing and they did another. They said they was going to come in and share, but when they came in, it was like they moved in and moved in and moved in. Eva's students got newly painted classrooms and better supplies and often took space away from the public school students. They have their art room. Uh, they had a resource room. I think they had a, a specific room for the special needs children. Mm -hmm. Well, the kids were sitting in that stairwell because they took the auditorium from the children. And they have all of this office space. Our children are just like crammed. Make sure that her schools had many fewer of the city's neediest children than the public schools in that neighborhood. You don't have a problem, you're smart, you're charged. If you're slow in anything, or you're not picking up as quick as they want you to, you're not charged a material. And I find that it's mostly in the low-income areas that this is actually happening. They should work with them. You know, not every school is for everybody. We might not have um, the type of setting for math What if a child has trouble fitting in? Even schools suspended third through sixth graders at a far higher rate than that of the public schools in the neighborhood. On the way that morning to school, as I was holding Matthew's hand and we were getting ready to go into the building, Matthew looked up at me and he said, Mommy, it's the day to day that they're going to fire me. And he was crying. But many of these children don't seem to last very long because every year the classes at Harlem Success Academy get smaller and smaller and smaller not going to come into my community, have us win a lottery, accept my child, make him feel like he's, something's wrong with him, and treat him the way you have treated him, and then tell us to leave. She in charter school for two weeks, and I didn't like it at all, and I transferred her to PS30. What happened to those children who left? Eva doesn't keep track of them, but many ended up in the public schools, the one that Eva says are doing a terrible job. During this two, this whole process took place in about two and a half weeks. During that period, all of those kids were gone because they had their names on the desks and the chairs, and every day we came, one of those names were gone. Eva also says goodbye every year to many teachers, who leave at twice the rate of teachers in neighboring public schools. Oh, when I go, Uh, a police officer. I want to be a doctor. In charter school for only two weeks. She was in kindergarten and PS30 soon as I transferred out of charter school and she's in the highest level first grade class. So what's Eva's recipe? Admit fewer of the media students. Suspend large number of kids who don't fit in. And watch students and teachers leave in droves. And then you call your school a success. We came to the school, they took Matthew um, and into kindergarten, and he did fine. Really? He did fine. He soared. 